guys, and welcome back to Survival of the Yoshi! We are here in my bedroom, and it's actually rather apt that we are here in my bedroom today, because, well that sounded wrong, I'll start off with that, but it is quite apt because loads of you guys put in suggestions last episode. I asked, what is a room you would like to see me build with this mountain network that I'm doing? And I kind of considered myself as having a bedroom with it just being this, but I guess you guys didn't, because a load of you guys said make a bedroom. And at first I thought, yeah, there's much better things we can do with our time. But uh, let me come back up this way and I will show you the perfect place. So if you remember, uh, quite a while back actually, we built the good old swimming pool. It was sexy, it was hot. I'll give you a preview if you missed that episode. It's in here. See, we've got this room here that's just kind of waiting for something. Hmm. And then you come down here, and you've got the beautiful old swimming pool equipped with diving boards and staircase up. I mean, I know that doesn't apply in Minecraft, but come on, you got to have a staircase up. And symmetrically sexy glowstone as well. You really can't beat my pool, guys, is, the what, is pretty much what I'm trying to say. But, as I said, yeah, there's this room up here that's just kind of bare, it's empty, it's waiting for a purpose. And who doesn't want a swimming pool beneath their bedroom? So that is what we're going to do today, guys. We are going to try and create a bedroom room for me. So I'm going to start off straight away by just... I made myself three beds. I might only use two. I'm just going to straight away plonk down two like that. No, I'm not. No, ideas have changed. I'm going to plonk them. I love that word, plonk. Plonk, uh, plonk two down like that, right there. I want to use all glowstone in this room. And I want to try and create a four poster bed. This is always something that I've wanted to make in Minecraft, but I've always had trouble with. If you watched my old Tech It series, you will know how badly that turned out. I, I tried to create it, it really didn't work. Uh, wait, no, it would be the other way around, wouldn't it? I'm just trying to think. Because I want it to have like different levels. You'll see. Let me let me place these down again. Instead of the two in the middle, it would be on the corners, right? So like that. And then the fence goes up like this. And then you've got another one like that there. Actually, this is looking promising. I'm not going to say great yet because it, it's not. But who knows what the future holds, guys. Let's see. We could actually do quite okay with this. I actually have no other plans for the room as well just yet. I, I'm going to get them when they come to me in, in a dream. I, I, no, I don't know. We'll, we'll try and figure out some more stuff to do this episode as well. But I just kind of thought, bedroom, four poster, straight away, that's what we need. Yeah, that looks okay, actually. That is the best four poster bed I have ever done. For some reason, I have been completely incapable to do these before, and I've done one, and I'm really happy with it. Right, let me try and figure out how the glowstone layout is going to go. I want to go funky. So, I've got 16 glowstone to spend wisely. Well, that's not spending it wisely. I mean, I didn't purposefully double click, but my mouse decided, hey, Yoshi, I hate you. I'm going to waste all your glowstone. And by waste all, I mean waste one. But it is still some... So both of our points are invalid and suck a dick, imaginary person I am talking to. See kids, this is what happens when you have no friends. I'm kidding of course. This, this is what happens when you spend too much time on the internet. This is what your parents were scared of. And quite rightly. I only have one more glowstone and I kind of wanted to use it there. Um, hmm. Not quite sure what to do with that now. Oh, no, I do know. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take these. I'm going to recraft one more block. Uh, like that. All I need for this is two. I will pick up the rest of that, though. Actually, can I make two more? Oh, I can make easily more. I can make two and a, a quarter. Exactly what I need. I'm going to take this down. And these will be kind of like the, the bedside lamps or something. But it's also a part of the four-poster bed. Oh, my God. I'm brainstorming like a boss today. This is crazy. Seriously. This is insane. Right, so we've got... Yeah, I'd say we'd have our lighting down. I'm not quite sure just yet if that's adequate lighting for monsters not to spawn. And I guess we could always... Hmm. Let me take all the torches down and just see what it looks like. Let's take a gander. 
Um, hmm. I, I don't want to place torches down, because I feel like it totally ruins it. But I have a horrible feeling these kind of spots here are a bit dark. I don't know, you know what? Screw it. It's fine. Let's just leave it. And if monsters spawn while I'm sleeping, then I don't care because I'm a complete boss and I can fight monsters off in my sleep. Let's just go with that. Should we go with that excuse? Okay, sounds good. So I'm just going to go down. I'm going to cook up a bit. I feel like I'm in Breaking Bad now. I'm going to cook up some cobblestone. Just so I can refill that hole I made. And while I do that, I'm just going to think. So what else do I need? What else goes in a bedroom? I mean, you can't exactly put a computer in there. But all I see needing in a bedroom that I will ever have in my life is a bed, a computer, and an internet connection. What else do you need? I mean, I've got technical bedside tables, I guess. Um, a floor of lava would be good. But that's a, b <laughs> it's a bit extravagant. Uh, firstly, I mean, I don't have that much lava. Secondly, I would die. Thirdly, it'd be a bit hot. So, let's screw that idea. What else could I do? Hmm, hold on, let me, let me, I'll tell you what, let me go up, let me place this down and I'll try and keep thinking. I really don't know what goes in a bedroom. Like, aside, I, well, actually, no, I, do I have... Yeah, before I go, I've just thought there is one thing that is kind of vital for a bedroom. Okay, let's uh, let's go place this door down because I need a door on the place. Plus, oh god, virus reminder. No, go away, you bastard. So there's the door. Every bedroom needs a door. I kind of, you know, let me go over here. I'll show you guys in case you missed it. I want to do with the bedroom and the swimming pool what I did with the uh, with the mining area, the chest thing. Just have like a piece of pixel art that describes what it is. I guess we could do like a bed or yeah, actually no you know what I mean it's less descriptive as a bedroom but I would like like a bucket of water there just to show that there's a bedroom with a pool in because I would like a bedroom with a pool in like in all reality you know I'm talking about oh yeah all you need is an internet connection a computer and a bed but realistically you do need a swimming pool too I mean you know maybe I'm just maybe I'm a little overboard I don't know just a little bit <laughs> yeah it's fine. Whatever. Anyway, I think I might finish the episode off here because I have no bedroom ideas at all. And honestly, I'm kind of happy with it. So let's get our first ever night's sleep in the beautiful new bedroom of Yoshi that we have here. Oh, I need to put a sign on the door and figure out what that is too. But I'll do that off camera just so it's less messy. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode of Survival of the Yoshi. And again, I guess I'm going to be doing what I did last episode every episode now because it is really helpful and it's fun to see. What you guys, uh, what you guys want to see me do. So in the comments, guys, don't forget, suggest something you would like to see me build, do, explore, anything to do with Minecraft survival on this series of Survival of the Yoshi. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you later.